Right chip of the day, we have a 2N6131. Old school, definitely old school stuff. Uh, so this is an NPN transistor, a uh, power transistor, and it's good uh, for two and a half amps and a low uh, current gain, 20 to 100, and uh, 80 volts, that's pretty good. Complementary to the 6134, uh, yeah. So, like I said, these are kind of old school. Um, one of the problems with these old school things is the uh, collector emitter saturation voltage. So it drops a 1.4 volts uh, at two and a half amps. So they kind of get toasty. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, they're great for power supplies and uh, driving stuff. So uh, let's uh, take a look at one. There's one. <laughs> Looks just like the picture. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, I have a bag of them. So in Mike's box, he gave me a bag of these parts. Uh, so they are pretty handy. Uh, I don't know exactly how they compete with a, like a 3055, uh, but maybe something similar to that. These are probably higher voltage. Uh, so these are kind of nice. So let's put them on the curve tracer. Everybody loves the curve tracer. All right. Uh, before we do that, let's let's figure out the pinout. So it is base collector emitter. There we go, base collector emitter. This one has a gain of two, uh, 27. All right, uh, base collector emitter would be this one here. So let's put him in and we can turn him on. So we have uh, one volt per division this way. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, Let's make that two volts per division. There we go. We can go all the way across. And we're at 500 milliamps per division. So 100 milliamps, 200, 300 milliamps. So we'll be at 300 milliamps. And, uh, uh oh. If you see the uh, trace do that, poof, we just killed our transistor. Okay? So why did we kill our transistor? Well, we didn't have a heat sink on it. <laughs> uh, so let's, uh, he smells. Uh oh, wish he had smell of vision. Uh, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's not touch him. <laughs> He's going to be hot. I have another one here, which I have put a heat sink on. Okay, so these little clip on heat sinks, these are kind of cool. I don't know if you can find these. Uh, but yeah, you take your 2N22 and 22, TO220, there you go, um, and it clips on. So it's great for quick, quick stuff like this. It's not going to be a great heat sink, but it'll be it'll better than no heat sink. And we will put that in there. And then we will turn him on. And yeah, there we go. You can see things are kind of going up as it, it st just started to warm up when we first turned it on. So let's get out a thermal camera here and make sure we're not doing any uh, complete damage. You can sort of watch it and if it starts to like act funny, you know, quickly turn <laughs> turn it off. But uh, so far it seems to be, oh, 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 there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. We've got to turn it down. It was getting too hot. It's getting too hot. All right, so we are at, oh, 150. Woo, it's toasty. Okay, let's turn it turn it down a bit here, and uh, let's see where we're at now. One fifty seven. Let's see how. Uh, can you? Yeah, it's a big white blob there. One fifty seven. Yeah, so this needs a big heat sink, a big heat sink. So, uh, oh, there it goes. See it. That bottom trace is going up. That means it's starting to uh, starting to overheat. Take it down. Take it down. And that was right there. Yeah, right around 160. It just goes haywire. So yeah, don't don't get it too hot. Let's see. Let's turn down our current. Take them across. Let's turn this up a bit here. 200 milliamps. So two, four, six, eight. Here's an there's an amp. One one point two amps. Okay. Um, no, 
200 mil. Yeah, 1.2 amps. Yeah, it's pretty stable there. Let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, nope, starting to run away. Starting to run away. Bring it down, bring it down. Yeah, we're up at 157 again. Let's bring this down. So, uh, if you wonder why there are fans and big heat sinks inside stuff, this is the reason that if it gets too hot, they go bad. So now here we're at 80, 800, uh, 800 milliamps, point, point 0.8, point 0.8 amps. Yeah, you can watch it go down just by blowing air across the heat sink. Uh, it did drop just a tiny bit. Okay, that was chip of the day, a 2N6131 uh, NPN transistor, old school.